Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about simplifying rational algebra expressions. Marami na videos about simplifying rational algebra expressions, but a lot of you are still requesting for this video or for this topic. So gumawa ko ngayon ng part 3 on how to simplify RAE or rational algebra expressions. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here is the first two examples for simplifying rational algebra expressions. So let's have this one. In letter A, we have x squared y over 2x y squared. So the key here is that first, you need to know how to simplify fraction. At the same time, you need to know how does loss of exponents work. So here, as you can see, for the numbers or for the coefficients, we have here 1, invisible 1, and 2 at the denominator. So wala tayong problem sa numbers. So that is over 2. As for the variables, guys, what you need to do, as you can see, your x variable with the same base, x, put it up here. And then what you need to do, since this one is quotient, we need to subtract the exponent. The exponent of the x in the numerator is 2, while the exponent of the x in the denominator is 1. So that is 2 minus 1. And as for the y variable, as you can see, mas malaki or greater yung exponent ng y sa denominator. Meaning, dito mangyayari yung subtraction of exponent. y sa denominator, y raised to 2, meron ditong over 1. Simplify this. It will give us x raised to 2, 2 minus 1, and that is simply x over 2. Then y raised to 2 minus 1, that is 1, so y na lang yan. So this is the final answer. Alternative way on how to do that is this. Makita ko kayo alternative way, eh. you can do this one. Pwede rin naman siyang ganito. As you can see, meron tayong dalawang, meron tayo x squared. Kapag in-expand natin yan, that is x times x. Okay? Then for the variable y, copy mo lang yung y. Over sa 2, kopyahin yung 2. Since meron tayong single x dito, x lang yan. For the y variable, expanded form of that is y times y. And as you can see, we can easily eliminate the common variable here, 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 and here. As you can see, what will remain here, or what remains here is x. And for the denominator is 2y. That's it, guys, on how to simplify letter A. You have two different ways. So it's up to you if you will adopt the first one or the second one. Let's move on with letter B. For letter B, we have x squared minus 9y squared over 3xy minus 9y squared. Here, um, applicable this factoring. So let's try. Let's factor out this first. Ito, uh, difference of two squares. So pag factors natin yan, the factors are x minus 3y times x plus 3y. Pwede mag-interchange ng dalawang ito. Eh. Sir, paano nakuha yung x? Square root of x square. It's x. Square root of 9y square is 3y. Over. Ito naman, what we can do here is common monomial factoring. What is common is 3. Okay, we can factor out 3 and y. So, try natin. 3y outside and then the remaining factors inside is x minus 3y. Okay? Now, as you can see, meron tayong common factor. We can eliminate this one. We can eliminate this one. And what will remain here is x plus 3y over 3y. Sir? Can we eliminate 3y and 3y? No. Hindi natin pwede cancel out 3y by the other 3y kasi meron siya kasamang term sa numerator. If they are separated by addition or subtraction, hindi siya pwede. So, wrong move yun, guys. So, this one is considered as the simplified form of letter B. Now, let's move on with the third and the fourth example. We have letter C and letter D. For our examples here, uh, karamihan ang gagamitin natin dito, or lahat ng gagamitin natin dito is uh, factoring. 
Ito, difference of 2 squares uli yan. Magiging x minus 2. Yan yung factors nyo eh. x plus 2. And another thing pala, bukod sa simplifying fractions, loss of exponents, you need to know, or you need to master factoring. Over. Factors of this, and if factors are negative 8, that will give you post negative 2. The factors are negative 4 and positive 2. So, ang factors itong expression na to is x minus 4, x plus 2. Yan siya. So, as you can see, meron na namang common. We can eliminate x plus 2, x plus 2, and it will simply give us x minus 2 over x minus 4. And this is the answer for letter C. Sir, tanong lang po, how did you get the factors? Ito, kung, ito para makomoto nyo mali turn na ito, kunin mo lang square root na ito. Square root of x square is x. Um, square root of 4 is 2, and then, lagyan mo lang siya ng minus and plus, or plus minus. Pwede yan. And for negative 8 naman, ang target kasi natin, pakita ko na lang sa inyo. Yung negative 8, kailangan natin makaisip na factor sa negative 8, dang bibigay sa atin is negative 2. And that is negative 4 times 2. Ang option, ito yung options mo, eh. Positive 4 times negative 2. Pero, sa dalawang to, pag in mo sila, ito yung, ito yung negative 4 plus 2. Ito yung bibigay sa'yo. Okay? That's why, yung sagot natin is x minus 2 over x minus 4. So, I hope na nakuha nyo to, eh. Difference of two squares and then trinomial factoring. Let's move on with letter D. For letter D, trinomial factoring to guys. Factors of negative 3. Listen na natin eh. Negative 3, that will give us negative 2. Factors nyo na ay negative 3 times 1 o kaya positive 3 times negative 1. Kapag inad mo itong dalawang to, ang bibigay sa is positive 2. So, hindi to. So, kapag inad mo naman to, it will give you negative so, factors natin ngayon is x minus 3, then x plus 1 over your denominator. Factors of 5, that will give you 6, 5 times 1. Yun na yun. Ito na mismo yun. Angat wala ng konti. <coughs> yan. Meaning the factors are x plus 5. And then, x plus 1. Yan. Kitang kita na. Which factor can be eliminated? We can eliminate x plus 1, x plus 1. And what will remain here is yung ating factors na x minus 3 over x plus 5. This is now the simplified form of letter D, which is the given is x squared minus 2x minus 3 over x squared plus 6x plus 5. And that's it, guys. So I hope guys you learned something from this video on how to simplify rational algebra expressions. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe but hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye! -bye.